quiet water Give me the back bay Give me a good Welcome to the Hudson River the Estuary. The Hudson River flows 315 miles from Lake Tier of the Clouds, high in the Adirondack Mountains, to New York Harbor and the Atlantic Ocean. The southern half of the Hudson, 153 miles, is also an estuary, influenced by salt water and ocean tides. The river is named for Henry Hudson, an explorer who sailed up the estuary in 1609, 400 years ago. The Native Americans who lived here for thousands of years before Hudson arrived had an interesting name for this place, Mahia Kantuk, which means the river that flows both ways. They recognized its special qualities, observing that, unlike a typical river flowing always from the mountains to the sea, the current of the Hudson actually reverses direction as water levels rise twice a day, flowing instead from the sea back toward the mountains. While tides affect the entire estuary, salt from the Atlantic Ocean only mixes with the fresh waters of the Hudson in its southern reaches. Those mixed brackish waters usually extend somewhere between the Tappan Zee and Poughkeepsie, depending on how much rain or snow melt is draining from the land. North of that, the estuary is tidal and fresh water, a globally rare kind of habitat. The Hudson has changed in the last 400 years, with towns and cities, industry and railroad tracks hugging its shores. But along the estuary, you can still find gorgeous vistas that haven't changed all that much since Henry's historic voyage, with towering cliffs, salt and freshwater tidal marshes, mudflats, and swamps teeming with life. Norrie Point Environmental Center is about 85 miles north of New York City, where the tides are always fresh. Give me the quiet water, rock me in.